Glad to be in the Lord's house tonight. We're so glad you tuned in with us. For all our regulars out there, we're so glad. And uh, for Miss Opal, I got your phone calls. If you're watching tonight, you said you would, and I know you do. And we're so glad that everything went well with your procedure, and we're praying for your brother. Dave and Jamie, we're praying and believing you're a bit on my heart, too. We love you all. Believe it for good. And all the others out there, just let us know. Love to hear from you what's going on. And we're just going to have an awesome word here from Brother Bob McKinney in just a, a few minutes. But we wanted to share just a little bit about what's going on. Um, I just wanted to make a, a couple of notes from that list up there of the announcements. Um, this Sunday, we're going to have our nursing home service at 3 p.m. over at Auburn, Auburn Healthcare. And we will have that... Uh, uh, an awesome time there, and then there will not be an evening service here at 6. So no evening service on Sunday night, this time here at the church. That will be where we'll be. And uh, uh, the other I wanted to mention is my wife, when she sent out the uh, list, she didn't have it as the last Friday, but as the next to last Friday, the ladies' Bible study. And so we'll probably talk about it Sunday, but that was what's been scheduled, so I wanted to put that out. That'll be next Friday and uh, at 6.30. And I believe Kay is set to go, I believe, is, is who the, the sheriff is, is who I'm, I'm understanding. And then uh, I think my wife is talking about maybe bringing a little food from us. So uh, so we're we've got some time, some good things coming up. If you can, uh, for the ladies, make it next Friday. All right. We're going to lift up the Lord Jesus right now. He is great and greatly to be praised. Let's give him glory.
see you everything tonight. Praise God. So 
the Lord is working on me. He said the path of, a just, of the just is his shining light that shines more and more unto that perfect day. Amen. He shines light on my path that I might know. Genesis 3 and 1 says, and this is in the Garden of Eden. Now the serpent was more cunning than the beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, As God indeed said, Ye shall not eat of the tree of the garden. And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat, nor shall you touch, lest you die. Right. Sounds serious, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. God gave an order and a command, and he laid it down. That's right. But you know, this shows that God gave them a free will. That's right. They had a choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Like the angels in heaven once had a choice. Once had a choice. And you know, Satan is cunning. And he sowed seeds of discord in heaven. And he's good at what he does. Oh, yes, he, he deceived one third of the angels. Right. And caused war in heaven. Mm -hmm. He created a war in heaven. Right. Praise God. And one third of the angels in heaven was kicked out. Come down to earth. And we don't know how long that Adam and Eve was in the garden. It simply doesn't say. We read it, we just think it's just a short time. But they could have been there a million years because they didn't age. We don't know. But anyway, Satan came down to earth and he was up to his old tricks again. You know, there's one thing that God didn't create that's prevalent on this earth, and that's sin. That's sin. Iniquity was first found in Lucifer. He was an angel of light, the most beautiful angel ever created. And he danced on the altar of God on the hot coals of God. And music and lights proceeded out of him. He was magnificent. And pride was found in him. That's it. And he tried to exalt himself above all that's called God. Preach it. Praise God. That's right. he, he exalted himself. Mm -hmm. He thought he could put his position in his place in the position of the Lord God Almighty. That's it. But there's only one Lord. There's only one God. There's only one creator. And his name is Jesus. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know, the creator is Jesus. And God his Father taught him how to create all things. And from the very beginning, it was determined that Jesus Christ would die on the cross for you and I. But he went ahead and created earth. And he created you and I. He made us with his hands out of the dust of the clay. And he breathed in Adam the soul of life. And, and Adam became a living soul. Eternal. We are made in the image of God. An eternal being. An eternal being. Where will you spend eternity? Will you spend it with Jesus Christ? Or will, you, or will you be lost? You know, God is so awesome. Verse 4, Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. You will shock, not surely die. When God said you will die, he was speaking spiritually. He wasn't talking of an instant death, but an instant spiritual death. 
And the serpent knew the truth. Yes. But he twisted it. He sowed seeds of discord. Right. And you know, praise God. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good from evil. Knowing good from evil. They learned about evil because they fell. That was an experience that Lucifer had. He fell in heaven. He sinned in heaven. And you know, I can't imagine him being able to pull a third of the angels with him out of heaven. That shows how cunning he is. That shows how powerful he is. And here, he's come down. He deceived Adam and Eve. And he's working to divide the churches. He's working to sow seeds of discord among us, you and I. But we don't have to be fooled. Because we have the truth. Right. We have the truth. Amen. We have the word of God. Mm -hmm. Not as men interpret it, but it is written by inspiration. We have the word. Jesus Christ is the word. We have the truth. And when it comes to seeds of discord, we don't need to receive them. Because we can understand what is discord and what is truth. Amen. We can understand what words are twisted and what's not. So often, he gets in. Yes, he does. And you know, oh, yeah. he uses ministers. He uses teachers. To sow seeds of discord. But we don't have to be fooled. Because we have the truth. Right. Anything that I preach. You should. You should search it out. And know if it's the truth. Amen. And if I ever preach anything that's not right. Come to me. You won't have trouble with me. <laughs> if I ever preach anything that's not right. I have so many good friends, and one of them, he's gone on to be with the Lord. You know, one time he told me, he said, Bob, I didn't understand. And I preached some things that wasn't wrong, that wasn't right. And, and, and I caused a few people to fall, to not accept Christ. He said, I didn't understand, and I'll be sorry till the day I die. If I've ever preached anything that was an error, I don't know it. I've always tried to lean on the Lord. I've always tried to be led of the Lord. And I've always told ministers, if you need an anointing, there's the altar. If you need an anointing, there's the altar. And never, ever get in that pulpit without that anointing. Never step in, in the pulpit without an anointing. And you know, there's been some times in my life that's been hard. Like the day that Pam died and went to heaven. And I got two sisters in heaven and one on the way. I've got a mom and a dad in heaven. You know, it's getting down to where it looks like it's just going to be my brother and I. But you know, I feel like this. My oldest sister, I have her picture. And I go by it every day. And I say, sweetheart, I'll soon be seeing you. <laughs> I'll soon be seeing you. Because I'm on my way. I'm on my way to glory. How about you? How about you? Are you on your way to glory? 
Glory to God. Amen. And you know, it's not something that I, I just read about. It's not something that I just think. It's not just something that I fashion an idea in my head. But I know it because I can feel it deep down in my soul. I can feel it down in my soul. I felt Jesus Christ living in me. The risen Savior. He lives in me. Praise God. Does He live in you? Glory to God. Glory to God. And there's nothing like knowing Jesus Christ. There's nothing so awesome as feeling the Spirit of God and the power of God dwelling up inside of you. That's right. Praise God. That's Praise God. If it gets any better, <laughs> I can't tell you what I feel. But if it gets any better, I might just take off. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. You know? <laughs> if it gets any better, I just might ascend to heaven. <laughs> if you see me going through that roof, don't be surprised. <laughs> But I believe when the day comes that I go through that roof, that you'll be going with me. That you'll be going with me. Because Gabriel has blown that trumpet. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eye, the tree desirable to make one wise, she took other fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then he, their eyes were, then, then the eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked, and saw fig leaves together. And so pig leaves together to make themselves farm. You know, they were naked and they didn't know it. Because they were innocent. They were pure. But when they ate of that fruit, when they, the sin was not in the fruit. But the sin was in the disobedience of God. That's right. It's often debated what kind of fruit was it. Was it an apple? But the sin was in the disobedience. The sin was in the disobedience. That's right. And you know, that's why that Lucifer sows seeds of discord in the churches. Uh -huh. He wants to deceive you. Yes, he, does. he wants to deceive you. Oh, yeah. You know, right now, that says, New King James Version. New King James Version. It's a good version. But there's people... I have friends and churches that I preach to. If they seen Bob's preaching from the New King James Version, they'd turn me off. Because they claim that the King James Version is word for word. From the Greek and Hebrew manuscripts. I got news for you, that's impossible. English is a language that was not that did not come out of the Tower of Babel, but it was created by men living in in a European state. They took words from one nation and another nation and another nation. That's why some of our words are like French words. Some of our words are like German words. They, it just was a, a mismatch. It come together and it finally got to be English as we know it. They were communicating with people that didn't have the same language and they just learned from each other and made a language English. And it's changed so much down through the years. Yeah. Sure has. This New King James Version. I believe is the 25th rewrite of the King James Version. You know, they used to, every time that they would come up and reprint it on a printing press, they would correct it. 
correct all of misspelled words, the errors in words. Because the King James has a word that's spelled one way in the Old Testament and another word in the New, another way in the New Testament. But what it is, it's the spirit of the truth. And I serve a God that knows enough and knows how to protect his word. You know, I don't have qualms and problems with that. God knows how to protect his word. God knows how to protect the truth. And we are not given a version that's in error. Oh, there's a couple of them out there that is. I don't like the messenger. And I would advise you not to even bother to read or study from the messenger. And you know, because it's sort of man's interpretation of the word. But what God has given us is the best that man can do. And, and he's had his hand on it. He's had his hand on you and I. And he wants us to walk in truth. He wants us to walk in love. He commanded us to love the truth. Do you love the truth? Yes. Praise God. In Revelations it says about Jesus Christ, His name is the Word. I love the Word of God. I love the truth. And it keeps me from error. Right. It keeps me from making mistakes. Right, that's it. You know, it's hard to fool a spirit-filled child of God. Because... If you have a man in front of you like I am that's preaching in the air, that spirit inside of you will prick you and let you know that's not exactly right. That's, true. that's not exactly right. He will keep us from error. He doesn't want us to take in those seeds of discord. But he wants to make us an overcomer. He wants to make us a conqueror. Right. Praise God. Amen. He wants to fill us with the Holy Ghost and fire. He wants to bring us alive in Him. Praise God. Yeah. My life yeah. is in Him. My life is in Him. I'm alive today because one day God loved me enough to die on our old rugged cross. I'm alive today and then when I say I'm alive today, I'm not speaking physically, but I'm speaking spiritually. Spiritually, I'm alive. Spiritually, I have eternal life. Spiritually, I will live forever. I will live forever. Spiritually, my soul will never die. Never die. Praise God. He got in my shock, got in my diet. Uh, oh, praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's nothing more exciting than Jesus Christ. There's nothing more exciting than what he did on Calvary. Yes. And one day, one day, one day in 1950, I laid my soul at the foot of the cross. And one day in 1950, my mother hovering over me and saying, Bob, what you're praying, you better, you better believe it. Because God knows. He knows what's in your heart. He knows where you're telling the truth or not. He knows where you're just saying it or not. But do you mean it? Do you mean it? Glory to God. Glory to God. And you know, Sometimes when I think about that day, my heart just overflows. Sometimes when I think about that day, my eyes fill with tears. I won't tell you that I lived a perfect life. I stumbled a few times. I was the one that God left a 99 and came after me. Back in the 60s, I went through a hard time as a teenager. 
my life fell apart. My life fell apart. And uh, it was not an easy life at that time. And I stumbled. But you know what? Every time I stumbled, there was Jesus. Every time that I fell, there was Jesus. Every time that I took a wrong turn, there was Jesus. Glory to God. He's always been with me. And he was so willing to leave the 90 and 9 and come and bring me back home. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know? Mm -hmm. And Adam and Eve were naked in the garden. But they were not in sin. That you know, they were living holy and pure, and they knew no sin. They knew no sin. That's the way you and I are going to be when we get to heaven. We're going to live throughout eternity and not know sin anymore, because sin will be no more. There's coming a day that Calvary's going to win the battle. And sin will be no more. And you know, when you came to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the angels rejoice. The angels rejoice. And sin was defeated. Sin was defeated. The cross won the victory the day that you come to the Lord. Live for the Lord. Don't let those seeds of discord come into your life. Don't let those little things overthrow you. But stay pure. Stay holy. And help the the Holy Spirit is there. God sent a comforter. God sent the Holy Ghost with a mission. A mission. We're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Or, you know, in in the King James Version, it both says the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. And if you study it out, it's saying a little, little different things there. But the Comforter, what his mission is there is to present you and I holy, perfect before the Lord. Praise God. He's there to present you and I. And you know, that's why that he points out every seed of discord that's sown in your life. That's why he, he is there to show us every error that's in our life. He is there to keep us alive in him. He is there to fill us with the Spirit of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, God is truly wonderful. God is truly wonderful. And you know, Eve realized that she, that day that she took on a curse. The ground was cursed. And you know, the woman was told that she would bring forth children in pain. And things were not easy because they sinned. But you know, God made a way. God made a way. Great grace fights our battle. Grace fights our battle. And you know, when when we come to Jesus, the cross wins again. The cross wins again. And you know, God is is in a position right now that he's pouring his spirit out on his people. Satan's fighting hard because he knows his days are short. He's after you, and he's after me. 
strong delusions is in the world today. And it says it would deceive the very elect if it's possible. If it's possible. If it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. But you know what? A rooted and grounded child of God, it's not possible to, to deceive us. It's not possible to see, deceive us. Because we have the Lord living down inside of us. We have the truth. And we're going to hold on to it. Regardless of the cost. Regardless of the cost. Praise God. I'm glad that God made a way that we can have victory. We can have victory. And it's so simple. Believe the truth. Hold on to the truth. Be a lover of the truth. Seek out the truth. Search the word of God. Search the word of God. And make it. That's it. And make it your own. Praise God. This is the truth. That's it. This is the truth. And you know, we don't have to be deceived. And if one day they take this word away, we'll still have it hidden in our heart. We'll still have it hidden in our heart. If they burn every Bible on this earth, we'll still have it hidden in our heart. Because the truth lives in us. Lives in you and I. Praise God. Because Jesus is the truth. And Jesus lives in me. Jesus lives in you. Do you believe that tonight? Do you believe it tonight? Do you know that Jesus Christ lives in you? Praise God. <laughs> Isn't Jesus wonderful? Isn't Jesus wonderful? He is able. He is able. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just love you. We just love you. And we praise you. And more than anything, we thank you for Calvary. We thank you for what you did on Calvary. We thank you for loving us enough that you left heaven and come down and suffered and died on an old rugged cross. We thank you that you didn't let the pain get too great that you stayed on that cross and you gave your all for you and us. And Lord, if there's anyone under the sound of my voice that don't know you, Lord, touch their hearts. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice that needs any kind of miracle, God, I ask you to give it to them. God, Show us your ways. Lead and guide us, Lord, in all truth. Lord, I love you. I love you, Lord Jesus. And I praise you and I thank you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, that miracle is needed. I claim it in the name of Jesus. That miracle is needed in your life. I claim it in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every problem every sickness, every sorrow in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Healing come to our hearts, our minds, soul, and body. Because you're a God to the whole person. Lord, I love you and I praise you and I thank you, Lord. Thank you.
we can't. Do every miracle as our brothers pray. Save every soul. Work in our families, dear God. Do everything that needs to be done to bring healing. And then, Lord, these seeds will not win, but you will be victorious. We pray. And we love you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we rejoice in you tonight. We love you for it. Can you praise him in the house tonight? Glory to Can you God. give him glory to Glory house? to God. Lord, what he's doing. You. The Lord. enemy doesn't win. We, thank you. We, just, we know who wins the battle. We know that his angels, the enemy's angels, don't win. We know whose angels come again, have come to our aid. So we are dashed against the stone. We thank you for it, Jesus. We thank you for it, Lord. We love you and we bless you tonight, Lord. Holy are you and good to do it when we are weak. When our hands are lifted, dear God. Strengthen us up, dear God, as our brother has said. I just can't thank you enough. I can't bless you enough. I can't love you enough. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are here in this house. And Father, I believe you are where everybody is watching this tonight. You are right there with them to minister. Minister, dear God, through that screen, right where they are, dear God. Oh, Jesus. Let the, just the, the love just flow through. Let the praise flow through their mouths, dear God. And flow through us that you might be glorified first with us. Worthy of you, Lord. Worthy of you, dear God. If it weren't for you, Lord, where will we be? Oh, the seeds would overtake us. But oh, tonight, dear God, your seed, the man Jesus, oh, he has overtaken us. And we thank you, Lord. What you're doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to you, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, dear God. Glory the seed God. of the woman, dear God, God. has set us free. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. 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 He lives in our praises, Lord. He lives in our praises. Can we praise Him? You're worthy of what you do. Lord. You're worthy, Jesus. And all we got going, you're worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name. Holy is the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And as they play that song, Lord, we know we are confident. According to your word, you will not pass us by. Lord, whosoever will call in your name, that same one will be saved and delivered and see all the good you have. We thank you.